Queensland social services are in desperate need of funding. It's way behind the rest of Australia in per-person funding of education, health, public safety and housing. But the Queensland government spent $8 billion on handouts to the coal industry. Why? They say the money creates jobs. But in 2006, coal employed 1% of Queenslanders. $8 billion in handouts later, they still employ just 1%. Do you know who employs more people than the coal industry? Tourism, at least until they start dredging the Great Barrier Reef. Also agriculture, education, health, even arts and recreation. You know, theatre directors and footy refs employs more people. Queensland doesn't even make that much money from the coal industry. Just 4% of the state government's revenue came from coal royalties. That's about the same amount Queensland makes from Rego. And the profits go overseas, as the coal companies are mostly foreign-owned. It makes more sense to spend Queensland's money on Queensland's people, like maintaining services and infrastructure. Every dollar we spend on coal handouts is a dollar we can't spend on new schools and extra teachers, more nurses, or tiny maroon jerseys for every newborn Queenslander. The coal industry wants even more handouts. We say, end coal handouts. They don't make economic sense. Let's back Queenslanders, not coal companies. Add your name to the open letter. Spoken by Andrea Crook. Authorised by Ebony Bennett for the Australia Institute, Canberra.